Hi, this is Trisha from blogherway.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use photo filters with Canva. Once you're inside Canva, to uh, create your design, you're going to go ahead and click on Create Design. And then you can uh, search for the uh, type of um, graphic you want to create. In this case, um, I have a suggested for Instagram post. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. So uh, to show you uh, what we're going to create today is uh, we're going to create uh, this um, Instagram post here. So uh, to get this design, we'll head back into our blank canvas here. Uh, the first step is you're going to look under template. So I am using a, a pre-made template from Canva. Canva offers a lot of um, great designs. It, it's a great way to, um, if you don't want to start a post from scratch, definitely check out um, their pre-made templates. It's a great way to save time just to create, quickly create a, um, a post for yourself. So under uh, the templates here to uh, search for that particular one, if you ever want to uh, search for it yourself, you're going to type in orange and turquoise. And then uh, you'll notice here it's this first one. And then uh, once you've uh, selected it, brought it into your canvas, you can then uh, go hit ahead and um, adjust it to fit your needs. So in this case, instead of it saying blackjack um, to reference our initial design here, we're gonna go ahead and change the words to freedom. So go ahead and click on it. And then uh, you can type out the letters. So, um, a quick way to uh, make this all uppercase is you can go ahead and click on the uppercase button and it will change it from lowercase to uppercase and then we're going to copy that and then we'll go ahead and paste it again and then we'll do go And then we'll highlight it all at once uh, to get our uppercase. There you go. Okay. So um, in this case, I'm now going to go ahead and uh, change out the colors. Canva has a, a cool tool called the uh, Color Palette Generator that you can use to uh, get uh, inspiration for uh, color designs. Um, colors to use for your designs. Um, you can choose to upload an image or um, you can uh, scroll through their um, previous combinations. So we'll go ahead and uh, look at their combinations here. And so for this one, I'm looking for a, a red and blue uh, color palette. And then uh, we'll find the one that I'm using here. It's called Winter Warmth. Uh, what's nice about it is uh, when you kind of hover over it, you can uh, choose to uh, copy that color. And then when you go back into your uh, your YouTube or your Canva design here, you can um, easily paste it in, changing the color here. And then we'll do that for uh, the blue one as well. highlighting our text and then selecting it there. For um, the original had uh, kind of the two uh, different uh, ones in italicis, one is normal. I'm gonna go ahead and make the whole thing italicized. I kind of like to have um, the continuity uh, of that design uh, for uh, this design here. So I will go ahead and uh, change the color of the shapes to meet uh, the aesthetic of the design. And then I'm gonna get rid of this text here. You can click on it and select delete or you can come and delete it from the corner there. Deleting each element here. And then uh, for this word, I'm gonna change it. So you can go Command A to highlight it all. And then we'll bring that out there and then let's change the color make that blue 
And then let's just bring it up here a little bit. Okay. So we've uh, changed out the colors and then um, I'd like to, to add another little element here. So let's go ahead and look. Um, we used just a little bit of that army star there. So um, going to elements, you can search for elements. I'm typing in your search uh, term here. And then I will select this first one and then we'll change uh, the color. You can easily change the color of any of most elements. And then we'll make that smaller. Okay. And then uh, let's go ahead and change out the photo. So we'll go ahead and delete this element. And then um, actually I'm going to bring that back. Before I do that, um, I'm going to create a grid. Um, and then you can find that under elements here. I'll select my grid element. I uh, will go ahead and bring it to the front. And then I'm going to size it to that photo. That way, when I want to bring in my next photo, it will just go in there nicely in uh, this grid position here. So we'll go ahead and position that backwards until we're behind that photo. And then I can delete it here. And then now I have a template grid there for uh, my next image. So we'll go ahead under photos here to select a, um, look for an image. So I'm gonna go ahead and search for army. And then I will select this first one here, bringing into the photo here. So um, with this tutorial, I wanted to show you how to uh, use a photo filter. So now that we have our, our design set up, we've got our photo, I'm gonna show you, I'm kind of comparing it to our final design here. As you can see, I have added a, a filter. Uh, this is the original. This is how um, the finished uh, product here. So uh, what's nice is, is Canva gives you the option that you can do a little bit of um, kind of add the filter to kind of change um, how the image looks in Canva. So to add this filter, go ahead and click on the image and then you're going to select filter from the options. And then there are um, a couple of of these kind of pre-made filters here. You can try them out, see uh, which kind of style uh, you like, and then you can always adjust the intensity of it. You can bring it up, bring it down, um, based on uh, your preference there. So for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and use the grayscale. And then, you can, like I said, you can adjust it up, you can adjust it down. Um, I like the default just at 50 here for uh, this um, graphic here. So, um, like I said, it's, it's really easy to add a filter to uh, your photos and your designs. It gives it a little bit of a different um, look to it. Um, doing kind of the grayscale is a, a really common one you can use and it just gives it a nice, um, just different aspect to your design uh, when you use a filter. And then uh, once you have uh, finished your design, you can go ahead to uh, click on download and then you can um, easily change your file type, whether you want it to be PNG or JPEG. Um, in this case, we'll leave it at PNG. And then uh, you also have the option to adjust the size. And then um, if you are planning on maybe uploading it to like your, your um, website and you want to kind of compress it, um, you do have that option with the Canva Pro account to um, compress that file down. Um, but in this case, I'm going to be um, adding it to Instagram. So I'm just going to download it as is. Once it's been downloaded, you can go ahead and open it up to see how it looks. And there's, uh, there is our uh, finished design. I hope you found this uh, tutorial helpful on how to use uh, photo filters in Canva. Uh, be sure to check out my other videos on how to use Canva to uh, design graphics for your blog and business. Be sure to uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel where I share helpful tech tutorials on how to run your blog and business. This is Trisha from blogherway.com. See you next time.